what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel you already know it's your girl and today is another episode of blackface creative spaces i am sorry that i did not film a blackface creative spaces episode last week but i was not feeling good so i cannot i couldn't do it y'all i just could not so in today's video i am going to be filming another episode and in today's episode we are featuring the goat zarina acres and if you guys do not know who zarina acres is she is a celebrity fashion stylist best known for styling beyonce she is beyonce's personal stylist as well before we get into it make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel also make sure to follow me on social media everything my handles are at patrick Kiera everywhere so yeah let's get into today's video today's quote is by james baldwin and it says not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. That is a word. Now we're gonna go into talking about Zarina. So like I mentioned before, Zarina Akers is Beyonce's personal stylist. She is also known for styling Chloe and Halle, as well as Ava DuVernay and Yara Shahidi. And she has just really made a name for herself in the fashion industry, especially for black people in the fashion industry. Zarina went to LIM and she started her career as an intern for W Magazine's Style Closet. During her internship, she had an opportunity to work with stylists including Alex White, Camilla Nickerson, Carl Temper, and also Lori Goldstein. She just kept moving herself up the ladder. She also worked for WWD and she did some freelance work and she interned with a lot of stylists as well as PR companies because she wanted a well-rounded experience of being in the fashion industry as far as styling goes. After assistant stylist Ray Oliveira, he passed a project onto her and a year later she was styling all on her own. She freelanced, which led her to more commercial projects, which led her to styling Beyonce. She was able to develop a lot of connections in the industry while she was freelancing and building herself up, which ultimately landed her a dream stylist project of being able to work with Beyonce. She says that her approach to styling is more about people rather than the clothes. She likes to create imagery through clothing, which if you guys didn't already see Black is King, Zarina Akers is the stylist behind all of those magnificent looks. I mean, just insane. Like, I'm also going to film a video breaking down my favorite outfit looks from Black is King, but yeah, we're gonna get into that later. Zarina has been able to put African fashion in the spotlight on a global platform. Styling Beyonce and different black and African designers is so significant because Beyonce has one if not the largest celebrity platforms in the world. So being able to bring in African and black designers to design for Beyonce is so major. Like, I think it's an amazing thing that she's doing. I feel like this is what black creatives in the fashion industry should be doing, striving to make sure that our voices are heard and that we uplift other creatives who are black within the fashion industry. Some of Zarina's major works included Beyonce's post-pregnancy shoot where she revealed the twins. She was also not only the stylist for Black is King, she was also the stylist behind Beyonce's visual album Lemonade, which again, amazing pieces, insane pieces. Recently, Beyonce and Zarina actually came up with the idea of Black Owned Everything, which is on Beyonce's website, which is a directory for all Black owned businesses in all industries, fashion, food, entertainment, just everything that you can think of, which I think is genius. So yes, I had to do an episode on Zarina because she is really making her mark in the fashion industry right now. And she's elevating black culture in the fashion industry and bringing awareness, which is what we need. So I hope that you guys enjoy this part of the segment. Now we are going to get into our Buy Black segment this week. The first brand that we have this week in our Buy Black section is La Ropa. La Ropa is a streetwear brand and they're a very hype brand, I would say. They have, I couldn't find the founders, but I think it's founded by ACC Studios. At least it says La Ropa by ACC Studios. But I know that it is a black owned brand. They are a very hype brand. They've been seen on Bella Hadid, ASAP Ferg, just 
a lot of celebrities have worn ACC Studios and their slogan is Pussy Builds Strong Bones. I actually have a La Ropa hoodie that I'm going to show you guys now because I actually have this hoodie right here that says Pussy Builds Strong Bones by La Ropa. I honestly wear this like all the time during winter time. It's like my thing. The prices of La Ropa are not crazy. They're not anything insane. Um, I know that they have trucker hats, they have tees, they have denim pants, they have accessories. So if you guys are interested in shopping La Ropa, you should make sure to check them out. The link will be in the description box. You guys already know. The next brand that I wanna discuss is Christopher John Rogers. Christopher John Rogers is a Brooklyn-based designer. He was the winner of last year's CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund. And he is known for creating this bright colored evening wear that has been seen on Rihanna and Michelle Obama, just to name two really significant people. They, these items are definitely at a higher price point because they are ready to wear items. They are available to shop at Net-A-Porter. So if you guys are interested, you should definitely check out Christopher John Rogers. They do have some, I think they're having a sale right now on Net-A-Porter for his pieces. So I'm sure you can find some things that are a little bit more affordable than they would be if they were full price. So make sure to check out Christopher John Rogers. And the last brand that I'm gonna talk about this week is called Chelsea Bravo. Chelsea Bravo is a women's wear and men's wear brand focused on creating artistic yet simple pieces. They're based in Brooklyn and the designer actually interned under Martine Rose and Christopher Shannon. So you already know she got the fire. Got the fire. When I went on the website, I saw that all of the pieces are currently sold out. But I still wanted to mention this brand this week because I feel like this is a brand that you guys should be aware of for when they do restock. The price points that I saw were from $75 all the way up to $300. Make sure to just follow Chelsea Bravo's Instagram page so you can know when they do release new things because they have some very dope pieces. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Blackface Creative Spaces. If you did, make sure to thumbs up this video. Also make sure to have your notification bell turned on so you can know when I post new videos. I will see you guys later, so peace.